Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your weekly forecast horoscope for September 3rd to the 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful Virgos, let's jump right in here. All right, we're going to be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Jump right in. All right, so what's going on my Virgo's romantic love life? September 3rd to the 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out here, Virgo, what's going on. All right, so this is September 3rd, September 4th, September 5th, September 6th, September 7th, September 8th, and September 9th. This is your love interest feelings. This is the block delays and challenges. And this is the overall outcome. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. So there's some kind of legal decision or definitive decision being made here. Seems like somebody is very cautious about getting hurt. There's a lot of giving here towards the house and home situation. Let's put this over here. I see the obstacle or blockage is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's somebody debating, should I give my heart to this person or not? There's a patient energy and a contemplation about love. So I see that on the third here, there's definitely a strong addiction, a strong uh, attachment to someone, okay? Someone is really thinking about you very heavily there, Virgo, with a devil card energy, okay? What's gonna happen, my Virgo's romantic love life, September 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out here, Virgo. So we see some slash slick energy there going on. Okay, <laughs> what's going on? Got my Virgo's romantic love life for September 3rd to the 9th. Show my cards in to see. Show my cards I need to see. Sometimes a cat card can also mean something sexy too. It looks like you guys are going out, having a good time, socializing, but somebody is really into you. Okay. Somebody's really into you. Let's find out more information about this Virgo. Let's go to my Virgo's romantic love life, September 3rd to the 9th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out, Virgo. Yeah, this is no coincidence, Virgo. There's definitely signs that someone's really into you. Okay, so let's keep going here. Got the temperance card. So some of you guys still may be um, dealing with something, healing from something, or connection here. Things are coming into balance, but it still feels like you're kind of in between here. Um, and in a state of confusion here on the fourth. I see that there is this sudden or abrupt decision that's gonna be made because of a twin flame or a soulmate connection here or a divinely guided connection. So we see there's no coincidence here. There's some kind of relationship dynamic here that feels like a spiritual connection. So Nine of Pentacles here on the fifth. You guys are focused on yourselves, possibly your finances here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. I feel, yeah, you're dealing with your responsibilities and burdens here with the cross card energy. And there's this concern that somebody's not being really honest with you. They're not coming straight forward with you about the situation. They're like keeping something from you. And we see there's this strong heartache, sadness, I'm crying over the situation. So the signs about this soul contract, this twin flame relationship, and heartache and sadness. And we see this, I wanna go out, spend time with you. There's an abrupt, sudden decision, and someone's not being completely honest here about the whole 
situation. Hmm. Let's go down to the layer. Yeah, we see another twin flame soulmate card. We see wanting to apologize, reconcile, and we see you're getting a lot of attention with the Six of Wands energy. You're getting noticed and getting attention. Could be making somebody feel really hurt. I see though you'll get clarity here on the six, some kind of aha moment of like, okay, that's it. So you're gonna get some kind of answers. Finally, you're gonna get some answers here on the sixth. What's this about? About a reconciliation, about a healing here, clover card energy. When it comes to this soulmate connection, this relationship. Going further. Yep, and there's something about this situation that involves a legal matter, like just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? So some kind of legal matter around this. And this will make you feel like, all right, I gotta juggle, I gotta make a heavy decision here with the Two of Pentacles energy. I gotta figure this out. So this is gonna force you, this clarity is gonna force you to have to make a definitive decision here on the sixth, okay? This is gonna put you in a position like, okay, I gotta figure this out, I gotta make a decision. Because there's this isolation or separation here and this heartache and sadness around it. And uh, this want to have this connection and spend time with this person. We see this want to apologize and give some attention to the situation. But we see there's, there's going to be some juggling about a heavy decision coming up. So there's somebody here, okay, on the 7th that's coming in that you strongly desire. Or somebody who strongly desires you. We have this fulfillment here of your wish, your wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups energy so this is this is somebody who could really give you what you want we see that there is a sense of stability and stables or something around this involves your job here or a work related situation for some of you guys we see there's a healing energy here okay let's see let's keep going here and we see some kind of traveling taking place here on the seventh yeah, something in brown this involves a, a, a commitment, an obligation, a contract, or marriage around this. So let's just go see it so far. What do we got going on here? I want to spend time with you, and I want to apologize. I want your attention. I've been juggling this decision, this heavy decision about this long-term commitment in marriage. So this is what's definitively is going to be decided this week, and what's going to give you some kind of clarity here with this Two of Pentacles energy to make a definitive decision about this marriage situation. Okay. Wow, okay, so the King of Swords is coming out. So it looks like you're going to hear or truth will be revealed to you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, yeah, some kind of truth is gonna be revealed to you guys about, let's find out, about this house or home situation about this house or home situation here. And this is gonna be on the eighth. Um, and making an effort here towards this house or home situation because there, there looks like it's like a talk about moving, traveling, moving on with the travel card energy uh, because if you're finding out about this information. Let's see, you're deciding to take a risk leap of faith here. Okay, um, let's see what that's about. Because there were some kind of secrets or unknowns. Knowledge, book card energy. All right, we see this relationship. I wanna apologize, I want your attention. You're juggling a heavy decision about the long term when it comes to a long term commitment, marriage, and something secret or some unknowns or a spiritual connection. Okay, so let's keep going. So Emperor card. So someone's gonna make some strong power moves to get things organized, structured with the Emperor card energy to fix or heal this situation. Someone is saying they miss you and they long for your embrace once again. And you're gonna get this truth about it. So about their feelings, about what's really going on. Okay. I see the Eight of Pentacles. It has to do with money and finance and work again. So there's this secret situation. So it looks like you have a choice here coming up. So, and it looks like you're gonna come to a definitive decision here by the sixth. So how does your love interest feel about you? 
Your love interest has a lot of self-doubt about wanting to accomplish something here um, or traveling or moving with the world card energy. Um, and they, they got new perspective, new understanding, or they feel kind of naive about the situation. There's this loyalty and devotion to having a conversation with you. We see main person. They feel like there could be an opportunity or offer, but they want to wait around to see what happens until the timing is right. Your person has strong chemistry towards you, but there's an anxious energy about this reconciliation and healing. Your person has a lot of things that they're dealing with from the past, like a lot of regrets. And it seems like they're just going to wait around and see how things play out here um, before they, uh, they're not really dealing with, it, with their emotions here with the Eight of Cups energy at the moment. So I see that there's a contemplation, should I give my heart to this person or not? We see there's something about moving or travel here that's part of the obstacle or blockage. And we see there's a need to have a conversation about these blockages, obstacles, or drama. And whether or not this is time to end the situation for a new beginning with the death card energy. All right, so let's talk about it. It looks like you have a new potential love connection coming in, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Ace of Cups. And there is somebody you really has strong chemistry and passion with, with the King of Wands energy. And I see that there could be some frustration, arguing, or fighting about possibly an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. I see there's a little bit of jealous or lack of flexibility for a fresh start, new opportunity because of somebody you love. There's a lot of soul searching going on here about this passionate situation and stressing about it. We see there's money and finance surrounding this situation and we see something involving a marriage and we see a house and a home situation or uh, finances and a commitment to a house or home. I see that you guys are trying to make some decisions this week. You're thinking and contemplating about this long-term plans and feeling like there's a defeated energy. There's somebody that you're very attracted to, but you're at a crossroads to a sword's energy and feel stuck in the middle of the situation when it comes to this heartache and sadness. But there's this, uh, definitely a, no coincidence here, there's definitely a spiritual connection, but somebody will have to be left out in the cold in order to make this decision or choice. So you'll have to leave someone out in the cold for this. All right, so it looks like you have a choice between two different people, and it looks like they're the new person's coming in there. All right, so can I have some advice from my Virgos when it comes to their romantic love life for the highest best, for the best possible outcome for them, what should they do? For September 3rd to the 9th, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what should you do, Virgo? You have a lot to be grateful for, Virgo. Listen to your intuition on this and make your decision. Okay, so you got good intuition, guys. Follow your intuition. Your intuition knows best on this, okay? I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another date or two. There's multiple readings you guys will go check out right now. Your monthlies are up. The next three months is up. Um, what do they secretly want to tell you it's up? All up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.